the Jet Cordeaux treasure legacy stuff uh, to find the treasure for his legacy basically is a little tricky. So let's get to it. First off, you want to head here on the map by Typhon's Rock. There's a little uh, outcrop and a little building down here. And then you're going to look for a painted rock, isolate the frequency, and this will basically give you a beep, 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 beep. So you need to figure out where the beep leads to. This one is a little tricky, so I'm just going to lead you right there instead That's of giving you the map because it's like under a cave. And then you got to find a really, really good blended in data slot. So anyways, just follow my lead. I'm going to go this way and we're going to climb down. This is when I remembered that I dropped from that point and died. So that's not what we're going to do. We're going to run down the road and follow this annoying frequency. Whoa, whoa. Keep on going this way. And then you want to start running towards the orange rocks and the caves. Your scanner will start to go a little haywire. That's good, that's what we want. Run through the gap. Keep following the path. We are gonna to have to go down into that little cave down below. Drop down here and head inside the cave and right at this first little ledge rock thing right here you will find the hollow disc insert. Do that. A ladder will drop down and you can head upstairs and grab all the loot. All right that'll be it for the first part. There are other treasure maps but uh, this is the first one that you will get. Obviously, you can't get it without the key, so you gotta have the mission or else you won't be able to do it. Alright, that'll do it for me. Later, Gators.